anointing means God's presence upon a man. Anointing means the ability to perform. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20 declares, it says, we are ambassadors, meaning we are God's representatives on earth. And you cannot represent God without his approval. And his divine approval is the anointing. Anointing is God's energy upon a man. What is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. So when we talk anointing, we talk God's energy upon a man. So God starts walking through you. God starts doing things through you. God starts now moving through you. So if now God wants to rescue a nation, he does not go by himself. Because he has given you his anointing and his anointing is his energy. You are then the one who is sent there. And that is because men are God's methods on earth. That's why he said, I sought, I looked for a man and I found none. Why? Because in the realm of men, he will need men. But in order for him to legally use men, he has to anoint men. And the anointing upon the man becomes God's energy. So number one is God's energy upon a man. Number two is the enabling that God himself give to a man in order for that man to succeed, whether physical or spiritual. Number three, what is, what is, what is the anointing? Anointing is an amplifier. Just as I have this mic here, this mic has the ability to amplify my voice. I am not where you are, but you can hear what I'm saying. If we were to cut this mic, I'll be still talking, but you'll not be able to hear me. So the anointing now is what we call an amplifier. So people start hearing you, hearing about you, even in places that you have never been. Why? Because the anointing amplifies. Yesterday you were nothing. But now because of the anointing, you are something. It has amplified your life. Your life has become better. From bitter to better. From nobody to somebody. From zero to hero. Why? The anointing has amplified your life. That's why you should never look down on anyone whom God has anointed. Their rising is sure. They are a wonder waiting to happen. It is just a matter of time. A person whom God has anointed is like a baby, right? Just because a baby was born today or tomorrow, and you look at the baby and the baby does not have teeth and you start laughing, that, that, that is ignorance. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Just because a baby does not have teeth, it does not mean that something is wrong with that baby. For them to have their teeth out is just a matter of time. You don't have to even pray for the teeth to come out. It's just a matter of time. Just give it time. The teeth will come out. So whenever God anoints a person, no matter what the person goes through, it might look like they are moving in a reverse order. But as long as that person is anointed, that person will rise. And the people who witnessed they are going down. I'm talking about the anointed now. If, if, if people witnessed you're going down as the anointed will become the defenders of your honor and your greatness. Why? Because they witnessed you going down. So your rising cannot be man's doing. Your rising can only be God. So everybody looks at you and says, this is the finger of God. It can't be man. Why do I need the anointing? You need the anointing for many things, but I, Apostle Mizim, Zorkit and Credit, will give you four. You need the anointing, number one, to fulfill destiny. Number two, to subdue the forces of darkness, fighting against your destiny and the advancement of the kingdom. It will take the anointing of God in you to go to a territory that is dominated by diabolic spirits ruled and governed by diabolic spirits to go there and preach the gospel and save lost souls it will take the anointing number three 
to live a victorious life. Hallelujah. Because God does give victory to people who himself has anointed. Psalm 20 verse 6. NIV. Now this I know. Now this I know. The Lord gives victory. The Lord gives. The Lord gives victory. Uh -huh. To his anointed. To his anointed. So who gives victory to his anointed? The Lord. The Lord. So in another words, when God anoints a man, that man ayah, ayah, fights from a victory point. So they are not fighting to lose. They are fighting to win. So no matter the matter, they will come out victorious. Number four, you need the anointing to attract success and destiny help us. When you read the Bible in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 10, where we spoke about how prophet Samuel gave a prophetic word to Saul and told him that as he's going, he shall come across a, a people. And three people will be holding bread, three loaves of bread, and they'll also be holding three young goats, if you remember, yeah, from the book of 1 Samuel. So the Bible then said, and they met Samuel, uh, Saul, and they gave Saul bread. Why all of a sudden are people giving Saul bread? Why are they helping Saul? Because Saul was no longer just the son of Kishi who was looking for lost donkeys. Saul is now anointed. So the anointing in him causes people to locate him and help him without him asking for help. So anointing will cause you to attract resources and destiny helpers.